Today we're talking about the best pricing strategy to sell your home for top dollar. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Cole and Kelly Watkins with The Bridge Group. Uh, so today, like Kelly said, we are talking about pricing. Uh, and that is appropriate because the market right now is still crazy. Yes. Uh, there are, there's a shortage of inventory, but it's still a very high demand. Uh, it's not like the buyers went anywhere. Right, it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, still having a lot of people moving up, moving down within uh, our city and our communities locally, but we also have an influx of people still moving in from outside the city, outside the state. Yeah, so today we wanna to talk about how to actually price your home. People think that just because the inventory is low that we can overprice our property. Well, we're gonna talk about the pricing strategy to sell for top dollar. So the first way is going to be overpricing the property. But before we go into that, or before Kelly gets into that, uh, we're gonna talk about how we find the price for a property, how uh, we run a CMA, or Comparative Market Analysis, for the properties. That's one facet, that's only one way that we look at it, but we look, if you're a two-story, let's just take, let's take our uh, property for example. Okay. A one-story in Cross Creek Ranch, we try to keep it within the same uh, year range because right. Cross, Cross Creek Ranch is 12 years old. Yes. Uh, so uh, ours is 2017 or 2016, we try to keep it within about three to four years of that property. Uh, about, uh, we're at 3,300 square foot property, so about 10 to 12% above and below that. We have a pool, yeah. we're a one story, then we're in KDISD versus yeah. LCISD. A lot of different factors. <laughs> Lots of different factors, but we take that into uh, account and we, we base it off of recent sold properties, not recent active, not recent list, uh, pending, pending. Uh, recent sold properties. The other thing we look at, and this is something that I learned from Josh Altman, Million Dollar Lister, <laughs> LA, look at everything else that you're, compared, you're, you're comparing to, not just in that community, but to adjacent Overall. communities mm -hmm. to see, okay, would people pay this price for this property or this product versus other communities? Right, so there's a lot of different factors that we take a look at, and typically we're gonna look at the price per square foot when determining how we're gonna price the property. That's how is gonna do it. Typically, the smaller the home, the- The larger the square foot, yeah. the price per square, price per square foot. foot. The bigger the home, the smaller the price per square foot. I had it right, okay, <laughs> perfect. So the first strategy that a lot of sellers go to is overpricing. And they don't actually say, I want to overprice my home, but they say, I want to get this amount for it because of I've done these upgrades or I've raised my family or whatever the reason is. Those or are valid reasons. we've lived in it. Yeah. It's my home, yeah. I lived in it, I think it should sell for this much. Right, and they want, they say, well, that'll give us some wiggle room, right? But the problem with overpricing is number one, you're gonna have less views. You're already blocking out a certain number of buyers who are only looking at a certain range. And typically, even if you do get views, people don't want to come in low. They don't want to offend the seller. They don't want to work with the seller that doesn't, they don't feel like it's going to Not work everyone. with them. Not <laughs> everyone. We've seen some low offers That's before. True. <laughs> typically, typically you won't see as many showings and you won't see any offers if you end up overpricing your home. So then you start to do small reductions. The days on market, you know, just count on and people start to wonder what's wrong with the home. So that's typically not the best strategy for overpricing. Awesome, okay, so the second one is listing at market value, which seems like a great idea, uh, and it seems reasonable, right? We run the comps and we say, okay, there's three other properties in Cross Creek Ranch that sold for $134 to $138 a square foot. We have a good range there of where we should expect the market to pay for our property, and that's a key thing that we need to talk about is market value is what a buyer is willing to pay for a certain product, right? Right. So, and that's what we're looking at in the CMA, what they've already paid. But if we have some competition in the area, we don't want to price with the competition, which is what market value would be uh, by definition. We'd be pricing between that 134 and 138 a square foot uh, would be the market value approach. Right. The, the, the only problem with that is that now we're putting our, our, ourselves in there with all the other properties, even if it's not Cross Creek, if it's Firethorn, if it's uh, Jordan Ranch, if it's uh, Cane Island, we're putting ourselves in there with them uh, as a contender. Absolutely. So that's why we're coming up with the idea for this video that the best way to price a home is slightly under market. Because what happens is you have a lot of people coming to view the home. And typically what happens is that you're gonna end up getting multiple offers 
they're all gonna be kind of fighting over it. There will be a multiple bidding situation and you typically will get over asking price closer to that market value, if not higher than that market value price. And we're not talking about giving the home away by any means. Uh, the Bridge Group constantly and consistently makes records in the communities that we're able to serve. So uh, by no means are we talking about giving the house away, but what we are talking about is if everything is selling for 134 to 138 a square foot, price it at 132 a square foot, uh, and with the aggressive uh, marketing techniques that we utilize, uh, we know that we're going to drive the traffic and that traffic is going to drive the price upward. We're going to make sure that, uh, to try to get as many offers as possible. So whether it's today's market or last year's market or next year's market, the best strategy to get the most value would get top dollar per home and just a slightly underpriced up in that property. So those are our recommendations. Obviously, every property is different. We love to kind of consult with you if you are thinking about selling, about how to price your property. Thanks and have a great week.